Welcome to Gruber Motor Company. I'm Pete Gruber, and today we're going to talk about autonomous driving. Autonomous driving, the wild west of the automotive industry where every manufacturer thinks that they're the next wide herb, ready to single-handedly tame the frontier of self-driving cars. Because why work together when you can have a good old-fashioned showdown in the AI corral? Picture this, a future where your car needs to get a PhD in brand-specific AI just to change lanes. Sorry, I can't merge into that gap. It was created by a Ford, and I only speak Chevrolet. Brilliant, right? You'd think that with something as critical as, oh, I don't know, cars driving themselves on public roads, we'd all be on the same page. But no, that would be far too logical. Instead, we have a smorgasbord of proprietary systems, each one a special snowflake of autonomous ambition. It's like every car manufacturer decided to reinvent the wheel, but make it square and insist theirs is the only true shape of roundness. The lack of standardization in autonomous driving is a master class in corporate short-sightedness. It's as if each company is operating in its own parallel universe where collaboration is a four-letter word and industry standard is something that happens to other people. Tesla's over here with its full self-driving emphasis on air quotes, while Waymo's doing its own thing, and traditional automakers are fumbling with their own system like they're trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded. But why, oh why, aren't they all working together? Well, for starters, there's the age-old tradition of technological territorialism. Our autonomous system is better than yours. It's like watching a bunch of kids fighting over who gets to be superhero in a game of make-believe. Except these kids are multi-billion dollar corporations and the game involves actual lives. Then there's the allure of the golden goose. Every manufacturer is convinced that they'll be the ones to crack the code and corner the market. Because clearly, the best way to advance technology that requires massive amounts of data, testing and refinement is to fragment the effort into dozens of competing projects. It's a strategy so brilliant it's almost as if they're actively trying to slow down progress. Let's not forget the regulatory nightmare this creates. Imagine being a government agency trying to create safety standards for autonomous vehicles when every system is a unique snowflake of AI decision-making. It's like trying to herd cats if the cats are made of different elements and each followed its own laws of physics. The irony is that standardization could actually accelerate the development and adoption of autonomous driving. Here are protocols for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. Nah, let's reinvent that particular wheel with each new model year. A common framework for ethical decision-making in unavoidable accident scenarios? Why bother when we can have a philosophical clash every time two AI cars meet at the intersection? And let's talk about the poor consumers in all of this. Imagine buying a car and realizing its self-driving capabilities are about as compatible with the rest of the world as a Betamax tape in a streaming age. Oh, you wanted to use that autonomous lane on the highway? Sorry, that's only for cars running AutoDrive 7.0. You're 6.9. Tough luck, buddy. The kicker is that this lack of standardization isn't just slowing down the development of the technology, it's actively eroding public trust. Every time a self-driving car makes a mistake, it's not just a setback for one company, it's a blow to the entire concept. But hey, at least each manufacturer can claim their system wouldn't have made that particular mistake, right? In the end, this fragmented approach to autonomous driving is like watching a group of people trying to build a bridge, each insisting on using their own unique definition of physics. Sure, it's entertaining to watch, but I wouldn't want to drive on that result. So here's to the brave new world of autonomous driving, where the only thing standardized is the industry's stubborn refusal to standardize. At this rate, we'll have flying cars before we have a common protocol for changing lanes. But hey, at least each flying car will have its own proprietary way of avoiding mid-air collisions. Progress.